Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, recently I've become a little bit obsessed about trying to design the most effective and efficient and compact lock picking everyday carry kit, and I think I've got it. Now, I did design this with the idea that anybody should be able to make something similar to this without too much trouble. I don't want to like get some really strange stuff which is completely unattainable. No, I wanted to get as many different picks and tools into this kit as I possibly could. And by the way, this is um, a roll case, a canvas roll case that cost uh, probably less than $5. It's about uh, seven inches long, somewhere in and around 20 centimeters and I can get my fingers around it. So th that is how compact this is. And it contains so many tools. Let me just show you. I, I, genu I genuinely think, I, I, yeah, I don't think you could get anything more compact and useful as this. I, I really don't think you can. So if I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments. But I've really thought long and hard about this and I'm pretty proud of this. I hope that you're impressed with my choices. Okay, so. There is so many picks and tools inside this. So many useful things. There's one omission, but I can add it in. I don't want to come on to that just yet, but I will do it at the end. Um, okay, where do I start, where do I start? Picks, the picks. Well, of course, I'm really impressed with this Southord pen pick set. Uh, you just get really beautiful, useful, uh, profiles in 23 thousandths, you get a couple of tension tools. Well, I actually added another one in here, a little top of the keyway tension tool. Um, but you get so many lock picks. I mean, just look at that. Uh, from the wonderful short hook profiles to half diamonds to what, whatever else I've got in there. I mean, so many snake rakes and worm rakes and deep hooks. And yeah, I mean, it's just a superlative set. It really is. In fact, I'm not going to put it all back together. Um, but that is a brilliant way to carry a lot of picks with a lot of profiles in not a lot of space. So that's your standard pin tumblers, your um, hooks and rakes. What about dimple picks? Well, I do have a dimple pick here and these are quite cheap. This is a, the Goso set. Um, you can get them for around $15, uh, maybe a bit cheaper if you're lucky. I've got a flat flag in here, one of my favorites and I haven't finished these off yet. Um, I've got enough dimple picks. This is really more of a concept, but there you go. Is that enough? No, not at all. So I've got a cigar case, a waterproof cigar case, let's say. And um, if, oh, hope that isn't too scratchy. And in here, of course, I got all the rest of my uh, dimple flags, loads and loads and loads of them. And I've got a bit of sponge at the bottom inside you probably can't see it because it is quite deep this uh, and for the moment I'm just putting in some uh, dimple flags so that isn't much of a bother but there's so much space in here that you could use for all sorts of extra things shims springs anything you want really it doesn't matter the, the choice is yours and these little <coughs> cigar cases are really really good in a in a roll case like this then we've got some bypass drivers these are the sparrows ones i've got an abus and a uh, i think that's the abus driver and this one is the american lock driver i didn't know whether to put them in or not um the american lock driver is pretty useful we do get lots of abus 7240s in the uk so that's quite useful too but I was thinking about swapping these out for something else, which I will come on to in a minute. So we've got loads, I mean loads and loads and loads of uh, picks in here, all the dimple flags you need, um, some bypass drivers, loads of standard lock picks and rakes. I mean, you, you just wouldn't need much more than that. And they're great quality ones as well. So you don't have to be compromising with your picking. You will be able to pick the locks you normally pick with really, really good profiles. I mean, it's, it's, it's a re these are really good choices and anybody can get hold of these. Okay, so what else do I have? Well, I thought if you're going to be doing some lock sporting and picking, you, you probably want to be able to gut your locks. So uh, what do you need for that? Well, I couldn't resist getting a nice tactical torch um, 
just because, I mean, this, I think, cost about, well, the equivalent of about $6. This wasn't a lot of money. It's aluminium. It looks kind of cool, and it's got an extraordinarily bright light. It really does. And uh, that's going to be great for looking down into those keyways, seeing what's going on. Really like that. Then these are so cheap. These cost in the UK. You can get these in um, in what we call power shops or uh, what you call dollar stores. I mean, these are very cheap, but also very useful. And they're deep enough. You can actually unlock the, um, you reach down far enough to, uh, to unlock, uh, unscrew the screws in an American lock as well. Uh, so so they're actually quite useful to, to have around. I actually quite like these. Um, they're very cheap. And if you end up kind of breaking the tips, it's no big deal. They're really that cheap. So I've got some tools there to help us take uh, locks apart and see what's inside and, and keep the whole thing lit. But we also need a pinning tray and followers and a tool to get rid of circlips. Well, I <laughs> luckily designed a tool for removing circlips and uh, it also will hold the cores of padlocks and standard cylinders as well as moving those circlips and there's also um, one here to sort of pry off those uh, I guess you call them single use soft circlips uh, and eclips and things there um, and this again just rolls up straight into the case really nicely um, of course we have to have the goat wrench it fits in really nicely you could use any tip of any pick to as a probe for those tubular locks so we've covered dimple locks wafer locks standard pin tumblers, dimple locks, everything so far. What else do we need? Well, we need some tweezers, got some Sparrows tweezers there. They're really nice. Can't say no to those. Why not have some more, um, why not have some more tension tools? These are just some that I grabbed. I mean, I've already got one, two there, three, uh, four, a long one. The reason is because I could bend that in two if I needed to, and a flat piece of just wiper blade, flattish, a bit curved, um, and that can be bent um, by hand or in a corner of something to to fit a lock as needed. So I think it's really nice to have a couple of um, spare bits as well. So that's all nice. Uh, this <laughs> is a, a bypass knife made by my friend uh, Yukov, and it's just made out of an old Sparrows pick, but it works really well, so I've thrown that in because there's room. Um, this is awesome. This here is just some, there you go. It's basically uh, like a, a a draw liner made of rubber, but it's grooved and this works brilliantly. I mean, brilliantly for pins and springs and it, it rolls up. It's brilliant. And you can, if it's a, uh, uh, you can bend it back on itself to get it completely flat as well. And it rolls up. It's just a really good, flexible, durable solution um, as a portable pinning tray. And again, a square of this, I think cost me about $5 for an A4 size sheet. I mean, this was so cheap. Um, and then, well, what about followers? Of course, I've got to use my own selfie stick follower. I've got shims in there as well. Um, this also acts as another storage. There we go, look at all those followers there. Um, so all of these can, can come out, they're all concentric. And you might be thinking, okay, but I don't want to spend my time making one of those. I don't have the time, patience, tools, skills, whatever. Well, I think HPC still sell their concentric set as well. So, you know, you could always get one for this kit. And or you could probably just throw in um, a couple of the uh, big ones. So the one which is about 12, 13 millimeters across if you get a hollow one of those, you can throw in a 10 millimeter one in the middle. So you can just carry two. I've got a range here. Uh, but again, you could do all of this in one go. And just think what we've got there. All together, we've got bypass drivers, bypass knife. We've got uh, tweezers or dimple lock picks. We've got a whole set of really great Euro style uh, standard pin tumbler picks and rakes. We've got followers. We've got... Uh, uh, gutting tools, we've got tube lock tension tools, a torch, a set of screwdrivers. Um, I mean, for me, this is, it's got to be, hasn't it? It's got to be the most efficient roll case carry kit. Now, there is something missing here, and it's something we can actually add in. 
What about one of these? Now, I didn't put this in originally because I thought that maybe the bypass drivers would be better suited, but I don't know. I'm on the fence because this is actually collapsible. So um, if you just undo these like that, this can easily just slot in, just like that. I mean, it's so, so nicely slots in. And where do you put these? Well, I just remove the sponge and then add those in as well. So the handles would go into this uh, <coughs> cigar tube and, um, and you've got yourself a disc detainer lock pick in there as well. And that would really make a formidable set. So um, I'm, I don't know whether I, I don't tend to see a lot of these when I'm out and about. Um, going around friends' houses and, and meetups uh, picking, so I, I didn't add it to the kit, but you certainly can do. It collapses down really well, and it doesn't take very long at all to just reassemble. Um, all it needs is for you to screw these arms back in, and then you're ready to go. So, um, yeah, I don't know whether to add it in or not, but it doesn't really matter if I want to add it in now. I can add it in later if I choose to. I can swap the tools out. It's great, but that is my super efficient, super compact um, you might want to call it an everyday carrying EDC lock pick set. Quite frankly, this will probably do the 80% of all the locks you'll ever see. Um, and of course, there's always going to be a few that this just won't work on. But I genuinely think that this is going to open up so many locks and it's so efficient. You can just throw it in a bag really easily. And you'd always know that if you're out and about doing a meetup down the pub, going to a lock sport club meetup, going to see a friend, you know, whatever it is, you know, you're going to have pretty much anything you need to hand right here. Anyway, let me know what you think. Am I missing anything? Should I have included anything? Um, should I have found a space for like, a, a you know, a, a, a folding pair of pliers, like a um, you know, multi-tool or something. What, what do you think? Do you think I've got it about right? Would you make one of these yourself? Um, let me know. And thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.